everybody, this is Perch. And uh, here's a question from a listener. What do I think about the body positivity movement and push in comics? Um, is there one? I, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying this casually. I know that there was faith uh, a while back from Valiant, and faith has by and large fizzled out. A bunch of people are asking me to do the sales analysis for faith, and I, I but why? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but I, 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 there's a lot that I want to do there. I'm, I, when I do these numbers, I'm really trying to, to learn some things out of the industry. And, you know, I mean, we just, we just know. I mean, faith, faith didn't sell anything. I, I don't know. Is I guess I came across an ad once that said Faith is uh, was one of the hottest comics uh, of the time, uh, which it was flatly not. So I, I can pull the very limited set of numbers and prove that. But I mean, this comic didn't sell, so it feels like a big waste of time. But I'll do it, sure. But other than Faith, like, what are we talking about exactly for for body positivity? And I'm not saying this sarcastically. I'm I'm, I'm just honestly. Because I've seen these statements, I've seen uh, both of the major publishers talk about the need for body positivity, I've seen it as a social media topic, I've seen it in various places, um, and yet, I guess maybe I'm missing the, the place where they've got the blob as a member of the X-Men, or they're changing, I guess there have been some movements to try and change the blob's name, they don't call him the blob anymore because it's fat shaming, so he's just bred, uh, but then they've also put him in this like, super unflattering like moo moo shirt thing and he's uh he's he's running a bar on Krakoa in his like his moo moo so i mean it's like okay you took away the name blob but i mean you're humiliating the guy <laughs> i i don't know i mean look uh what 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 exactly is being done here i i don't i don't know so i maybe i'll take a step back here is yeah, I'll, by the way, there's a there's a surprise coming in this video um, that you will you may not expect, but I'll, I'll I'll tell you my point of view on something. It will surprise you. How's that for a BuzzFeed like hook? Uh, I, I it should people feel bad about their weight? I mean, no, I don't think people should be feel bad about anything. If you're, I mean, if you're in the business of running around who are making fun of people for the way they they look, I think you're you're pretty much an asshole. I, I think that that's. You know, whatever it is, you know, whether the nose is too big or the arms are too short or the person's fat or skinny or weird hair. I mean, whatever, whatever it happens to be. I mean, you know, I, if you're a ginger, I mean, go go hook up with a rag screw. They're going to pretty much roll out a series for you. But I mean, otherwise, like what is what exactly, you know, it, it, people shouldn't be made fun of. Full stop. There, there you go. Do we need to do a speech about it? I mean, I, not on this channel anyway. I mean, I guess. In school, somewhere, I, I just I'm I'm lost where that conversation takes place. I think there's a time and a place for it. I don't know what I could add to that conversation. In comics, uh, you know, do we need to have body positivity to represent a segment of the population in comics? Um, I mean, no, I, I don't know. I, I mean, the, the the weird part is, and and this is going to go to a bigger topic is is I again running a shop. Uh, this wouldn't happen anyway, but people don't come into the shop saying, I am looking for a comic where the characters look like me. That doesn't happen. Now, maybe they're thinking it. I'm not going to say they're not. I, I think, you know, if you're a if you're a young black child and you would like to pick up a comic book and you would like to see a black superhero in a comic for you, I could see that as happening. Sure. Uh, why not? I don't think people, I don't think kids obsess about it nearly as much as adults do. I think adults have this more wired into their brain than kids. And I say that just from spending time with kids and, and selling comics to kids. I, I think they're looking for cool stuff. In many cases, kids are going to be looking at robots and monsters and dinosaurs and other things. And like, like, like put, put it this way. Um, and I've said this before, and I know this puts me at odds with a lot of my own audience. Moon Girl uh, did, did well as a comic. I mean, factually, numerically, it did well as a comic. Not in comic shops. Because that's not where that audience was coming from, but it was one of it was the success story in terms of getting that comic sold through other channels. It was, but everybody I talk to, because I, I stick my nose into things, I, when, I, when I see comics in my kids' school, I'll, I'll ask, and I've done I've done talks at my kids' school about comics before, you know, and kind of the bring your dad to work day. Um, it's always, it confuses them, by the way. It's like, dad's coming to, uh, to work, or dad's coming to school to talk about comics and to talk about, you know, technology. It's like, what, what, those two don't go together. Anyway, um, I confuse everybody. Uh, but, you know, I, I've asked, you know, what, what do you, why do you like Moon Girl? Guess what? The answer is never, 
because uh, the girl is um, is black like me, and there are black children in my kids' school, and plenty of them. It's always she's got a dinosaur. Like that is that is a hundred percent always the answer. It's like this girl has a dinosaur, and that's cool. That's how kids think. Um, just I'm just saying. I don't. There's not a group of people out there. So when we come to body positivity. Are there? Is the audience? Is the market out there going? I need to see overweight heroes because I'm overweight and that will help me feel included in comics. I, I don't think so. I, I don't, you know, I, I just don't find that as a viable market. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist out there, but I, I don't see it. And I also think, you know, if, you're, if your argument is, hey, uh, you know, overweight people are being made fun of and mocked. And the way to, you know, say that that's not okay, the way to keep people from being assholes to each other is to make comics about bad people. Uh, that is the raw, that, that is, that is the slowest, dumbest possible way to solve that problem. I, I mean, I, I can't think of a more indirect, slow way to combat body shaming bullying than to make a comic with somebody heavy like, like, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think the bullies are like, well, I can't, I can't bully now. There's a comic. There's a comic with a, with a heavy person. Of course not. And to prove it, you know, go on YouTube and search Faith. Amazingly, despite that comic coming out, some people made fun of it. I know it, this is shocking. I, I have shaken you to your very core, but it is true. People actually have made fun of that comic. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't. The problem is I don't hear a lot of people clamoring uh, for, for body positivity represented in comics. I mean, I can tell that this is something that's on people's mind other places because I go to Target or I'll go to a mall and I'll walk around in the mall and suddenly like Victoria's Secret has some, you know, in the little windows uh, has some overweight people there. And same thing with, um, you know, in, in Target, now you, you walk through, you know, you walk through that. If you're like me and your kids are dragging you to the toys and you're walking to the toys and you pass through the clothing section of the store on the way to the toys, you're going to pass a bunch of, uh, you know, overweight mannequins uh, who, to, to promote the fact that they've got clothes for people that size. I mean, cool. I, again, I, it's a bigger topic than we do on this channel. I just, I don't know that that does any good for anyone, but you know, hey, it's, you, it's your money, Target. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> that's that's the way I feel. Where comics are concerned, all I know is the uh, the one character where they really went big on this, no pun intended, was Faith, and nobody bought it. it like, it just didn't sell. So, even though she met Hillary Clinton, it still didn't sell. So, you know, I, I mean, why aren't there, you know, if, why aren't there more comics like that? Because they don't sell. I mean, I, I mean, d does that mean that there... It, it's impossible to have a, you know, heavy character in a comic book that sells a hundred thousand copies. I mean, maybe, I, I don't know. Sure. I, I'm like, I'm trying to wrap my head around the idea. Like, all right, who, who's a, let's say you got, let's say you get Mark Miller and you get Steve McNiven and they come back, you reunite the civil war team and they're going to do a six part faith miniseries. And, uh, you know, they're going to promote the hell out of it. Is this going to sell a hundred thousand copies? I mean, no, I don't know. I mean, it feels like the X titles are going to get there eventually. I mean, for God's sake, they're eating all the time in that thing, you know, and I, and I've got to think, well, here comes to the surprising part. Um, one of the arguments I've seen for like why it doesn't make sense for superheroes to be, to be heavy is because they're superheroes. They're running around, they're, they're having active, they're, they're exercising all the time. Basically these, these people are, are having to, you know, put a lot of physical exertion out uh, in order to fight crime. So it wouldn't make sense for them to be overweight. But I have a different view. If uh, most of the time, if these powers, like, you know, you can fly around, you can shoot laser beams out of your eyes, you can, you know, all the rest. I mean, like Captain Marvel has powers that, you know, allow her to fly, has strength, you know, can do all these kinds of things. Um, she doesn't need to work out. Does she? I, it is. This is a this is a, a this is an honest question. Are these characters actually exerting any kind of physical you know activity at all? 
Um, or do their powers just let them do these things? If, the, if your power is you can run really fast and you haven't set up that you have to like eat lots of hamburgers, like, like was the case with Wally West or, you know, the, if, if you don't need to do this, then I would think the superheroes would probably get super lazy and obese. I mean, hell, if you're, uh, again, if you're Captain Marvel and you can just fly through the sky and it doesn't take any physical activity, it's just that's your power, then, you know, why would you stay in shape? You'd just be flying around super fat after a while. That's what I, I think. <laughs> and, and if you're living on Krakoa, I mean, God, all you have to do is like eat and then screw apparently. And, and if you get too, you know, unhealthy, you do, they do resurrect you. So who cares? Like I'd expect like one year from now, it's like, uh, you know, uh, you know, weight of X will be the title. <laughs> it's, it's going to be like all the characters are just gonna be huge. It's like, well, screw it, man. We don't I mean, what do we need to stay in shape for? I mean, to hell with it. You know, heart disease? Pfft. Come on, gold balls. You know, resurrect me over here. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I think that stops becoming a thing after a while. Any kind of, any kind of weight. I mean, just, just everybody goes to, goes to seed. I think that's pretty much what happens. But I, I don't know. Somebody will come in to tell me that the physics and the body chemistry of superheroes means their, their metabolism is such that it burns off weight, and that's why everybody stays in peak physical condition and all the rest. And I get that for, like, Hawkeye, right? I mean, Hawkeye has to stay in shape. But, you know, does Storm need to sh stay in shape? I mean, Storm controls the weather. Like, the, the wind stuff's blowing her around. So, I mean, she, she who cares? She can, she doesn't need to be in shape. Black Panther needs to be in shape. Storm, no. Storm could just balloon up to like 400 pounds. It doesn't matter. Her, she, you know, that wind's going to carry her, whether she's, you know, whatever she's clocking in at or five or 500 pounds. But, uh, you know, beyond that, the, I, the other problem here is that it doesn't seem like the artists want to draw people uh, heavy. Um, they're, they, you know, I, I, it's, it's harder to draw characters that are heavy, I think, in, in panels. Um, you know, especially when you got to fit all those Bendis word balloons in there. I mean, like where's, where's, there's no room for any of this. I, I'm, I'm being kind of facetious here, but, but I mean, here I, to your question and, and maybe somebody can help me out here. I do see comic creators. I see people talking about body positivity. I see them talking about, you know, all sizes are, we see all sizes and all that kind of stuff. I see that. I see those tweets, but Am I missing the X team where everybody's overweight or the, you know, that member of the Avengers were like, God damn, Robbie, quit, quit, quit eating that food. You, you look terrible. You, you're not going to fit in the, the Ghost Rider car if you keep eating like that. Am I, am I missing these comics? I don't see them. Is Faith, I don't think Faith is even being printed right now. So what, what, you know, I, I don't think there's a body positivity movement. I think there's some body positivity tweets but I actually don't think there's any comics doing this, nor do I see any signs of any comics coming that are going to do this. It, it feels like uh, this is something people kind of want to talk about, but it, no, nobody's going to do a team like this. I, I'm, I'm racking my brain. Is there, are there any? Who, who are the characters? I, I mean, every now and then they touch on Big Bertha, and uh, I think the, like the Mary Sue has called that a problematic character, so not even using her anymore. And I mean... You know, Amanda Waller's kind of heavy-ish, but, you know, even you know, like even in Future State, it looked like she'd been hitting the Cato diet or something because, you know, she was small. Like, wh where, where's the body positivity happening? Um, maybe I'm just a moron and I'm not seeing it, but I, I, don't, uh, I don't think anybody's really doing this, nor do I think anybody really has an incentive or motivation to do it. And so I think it's not going to happen. Uh, not, you know, again, if, if Faith was selling like, you know, even 40,000 copies, I think you might see more of it. But, you know, that thing just was a big bust. I I don't mean it that way. Sorry, children. Anyway, what about you? Do you, uh, on any front, uh, these questions I've asked, is this something you, you want to see? Is this something that you feel like is missing in comics and they're, they're missing the, the boat on it and you need to see a big push for, uh, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not doing this on purpose. I promise. Is this is this something you want, um, or is uh, you know do you take do you take umbrage uh, with my video here and you say you know ah here's Perch again he's forgetting about all these other comics where people are heavy. I mean please let me know that and then let me know about my crazy theory here. I mean, if people have powers that can basically let them do whatever they want, 
then I'm thinking there's several heroes that would immediately go to hell. <laughs> Just in terms of their, they would stop trying completely, you know, especially with all that Krakoan food everywhere. I mean, uh, again, half the comics feel like they're eating in those comics. So I, you know, uh, I, I'm, I, I, what, what am I saying anymore? Body positivity. I, I don't completely get the question, but there you go. There's my answer for you. Thank you for asking it. I do mean it. Uh, let me know your, uh, your thoughts on, on what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Thanks for listening.